For AC sprains or AC or shoulder separations, um, there's three tests that we can do to check on them. The first one is the piano key sign. So we're looking and palpating the clavicle, seeing if it's seated above the acromion or if they're in line with each other compared to the other side if you're not sure. And then we can apply a pressure at the distal end of the clavicle to see if it's uh, if it has lifted. So if we push down and it goes down and then it comes back up, that's a positive piano key sign, meaning that there's a rupture of some degree in those three ligaments that hold it down. The crossover test is one that you can get the athlete to do actively or you can do it for them. Where they're crossing over, you can begin with just getting them to put their hand on the opposite shoulder. If that is not painful, you can get them then to go across the whole way, straight across, to see if they're having any pain in the AC joint from shearing of those ligaments. The last one is the shear test. So what you can do is you can palpate the clavicle and then the spine of the scapula on the posterior shoulder and apply a pressure on them, pushing them together. This is going to create shearing at the ligaments of the AC joint and your athlete is either going to have pain or increased movement and or increased movement in that joint.